Good morning guys, Mark Angel here. It's been a while since I made a little reflective video. I, um, I wanted to touch base on a few things that um, have been on my mind and, and things that I've uh, encountered and, and uh, discussed a little bit about a movie that I watched. Regarding the life of Judy Garland. Um, first of all, I, I wanted to touch base that to this day, and it's been over a year since I uh, renounced my faith uh, or the faith that I fell into, and I'm still getting emails from ex trans, ex gays. Um, and I don't understand what what the motive is, uh, besides the fact that recruitment, I guess, seems to be the the, the drive. But I, I would like to point out to those individuals to please understand that there needs to be respect for other people's belief system or lack thereof. That by trying to drown someone, forcing water into someone's mouth, kind of like waterboarding, um, is not a good tactic to use at all. It actually creates a defensiveness in people who are finally at peace with themselves and have put all those skeletons away. You know, they're, they're no longer part of my existence. I am fine with who I am. I am fine with my beliefs, which have nothing to do with dogma, but all to do with evolution and growth. And I'm not talking about evolution as in man came from monkey. I'm talking about spiritual evolution that one goes through. And I believe everybody goes through these um, type of spiritual evolutions and, and seeking truth and, and trying to understand and where one stands in this big blue planet, to have somebody try to constantly force their belief, their notion onto someone else is very disruptive and destructive. Um, we see it every day as far as politics, you know, type of um, political alliances and things of that nature. People try to make somebody else's political beliefs to be wrong one because they believe something else. And this is an individual journey, and I hope that people start to learn and understand this, that this is not a cookie-cutter thing, you know, and this is very personalized, and we each have to walk our path, we need to take our detours, we need to fall, wipe our knees, get back up, and continue to move forth. I believe a lot of us on this planet are plagued with childhood traumas that shape our world, the way we feel, the way we think, the way we act, all of our addictions, all of our challenges are all reliant on how we were raised as children. Some people are able to face those challenges, deal with them, reflect, heal, and grow. Other people can't for whatever reason, but that is an individual choice. And we are no one to criticize others. We could judge them because I believe that if you care for someone, you might judge their situation as long as you're judging in a place of kindness and compassion and not in a place of disruption and, and trying to make yourself feel better than the other person. Because through judgment we grow. But you also have to know when to let it go. You can't continue to beat someone over the head and telling them how wrong they are and how right you are. And these are things that I have learned. That's why I've been so quiet lately on, on YouTube. Because, you know, there was a part of me before that I felt that I needed to, to help people change and grow. And that's not my job. I mean, you, could, you could help people in a sense by leading your life by example. And if you care about someone, you might mention something to them because you love them and care about them 
and don't want to see them suffer. But unfortunately, life is about suffering. That's why we're here. And I know many people don't agree with that, but we are here to learn to face our demons, our shadow. We need to do our shadow work. And sometimes people need teachers to help them with that. And sometimes they just need to go inward and figure it out on their own. So, the whole arrogance that a belief system, the people that are guiding that belief system believe that they're in the right and everyone else is in the wrong, is part of colonizing. And it's part of what has taken place in this country, in other countries as well, part by a group of individuals who think that their way is the right way and everybody else is wrong. And that's very arrogant and very wrong altogether. We are all on a different journey. And religion is just like politics and finances. It's a business. And they're in the business to recruit, to make money. Kid yourself not. A lot of broken people bring their hands up to receive that lifeline from these organizations because they don't want to do the work or they don't know how to do the work. But it's time that we step back it's time for us to stop diving into all these conspiracies, trying to pretend that we've got the answers and that we know what's going on. Because frankly, nobody knows anything. We still don't know where we came from, where we go. We have speculations, we have theories. But we still don't have the complete answers. We are learning as we go along. This is on-the-job training. And for whatever reason, it is how it is. No one's going to come to save us. we got to save ourselves. We've got to do the work. As far as uh, the movie Judy, that was a very well done movie in and of itself. The actress, Renee, uh, did a magnificent job portraying Judy and uh, just her old energy, body movement, she really became the character. And we could see that Judy is a byproduct of her childhood being forced to be in the industry, given diet pills to not eat so that she would not gain weight and, and create this appearance that they, they wanted her to have back in the day. Um, we see a lot of that in Hollywood today too, and we see that a lot with younger, both boys and girls who become anorexic because they want to have this particular image of themselves, and, and we see it all around, even in the trans community, and it's, you know, we're hurting inside and we're trying to quote unquote fix ourselves with all the wrong tools. Um, in my opinion, and we're not really getting at the core of the problem, the root of the problem. We are just simply doing a paint job, you know, and, and not working um, the spiritual aspect of our pain. And we think we could numb our pains with drugs, alcohol, food, religion, sex, uh, entertainment, shopping, you know, whatever it is that we choose as our addictive outlet. And we find in the end, and many who transition and have done everything and they're still chasing their tail, they're still dysphoric, they're still not happy, realize that it wasn't all really about gender dysphoria. I mean, yes, there is such a thing, and yes, we do suffer from these things, but it is not the all and all. You know, we've got to do deeper work and understand things a little bit more. And I don't claim to have all the answers. I'm still figuring out this game called life, you know, but I have done a complete 360 with my mentality, with my belief systems, with the way I, I look at life, with, with many things. I've almost gotten to the point of lethargy, like, not that I don't care, but it's kind of like that because it's, it's almost like it doesn't matter what you do, it's like a dog trying to chase its tail. 
you never really catch your tail. So maybe we're not really meant to solve anything, but just to be a spectator in our life. To visualize the life around us, the life inside of us. And almost like learning spiritual lessons, um, which sometimes can be learned and sometimes can't. Again, I don't have the answers, but from all that I've done in my 56 years of life and every situation that I've gotten myself into and out of and back into again, I find that there is really no true solution to anything. Transition doesn't really solve the whole problem. It might help you. It might appease you. It might keep by you some time. Um, becoming a millionaire doesn't solve your problems, it might give you what you want. At the moment, you think that's what you want, but in the end, you're still unhappy. Um, whatever it is, that promotion, uh, reaching your ideal way, whatever it is that you put your mind set on to achieve in the quest of trying to find happiness, you find that in the end, when you reach that final destination, you still want more, you want something else. Because happiness, in my humble opinion, does not exist. That is just a feeling that we, we've been told that we should pry for. But looking around in the world, looking at my own life, looking at the life of the people that I've loved and loved, um, it doesn't really solve anything. Happiness is not the end all. I think it's the process, it's the growth, the evolution of the spirit, the... Um, visualization of what is taking place that we take in as an energy source of some sort. Anyway guys, highly recommend the movie. I hope you guys are doing well and staying staying in peace because that's important. You know, peacefulness is worth every penny. You know, and you can't buy it with money. <laughs> uh, money is just an exchange we need to learn to find other exchanges of energy that are more productive, less destructive. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Love you guys. But remember to always love yourselves too and each other. And unconditionally is where it's at. Take care. Bye-bye.